Okay, I wanted to add to my analogy. Um, so, not just uh, McDonald's and, and an Italian restaurant analogy, but, and, and I don't know, I don't know how much of a McDonald's Trump is, but it, he's going to mass market like McDonald's. You know, they're, he's trying to do that all American thing. And, you know, McDonald's is global. It's a global market, right? But um, the nice Italian restaurant is more preferred by me. Um, going out and going out to food, I really, I studied Italian cuisine in college because there was no, that was the only cooking classes there. I mean, that was not my preference for food necessarily. I do love spaghetti and I do love lasagna and pizza, but, um, you know, I, I, boy, there was some meatballs this lady had was like so good. It was my only, it was my only way I know what fine cuisine is because if you go out to restaurants as nice as and fine as they seem, they're not as fine as this expert cook lady that was teaching these cook classes. <clears throat> but, um, you know, you do have good cooks, you know, if they're, maybe their cook isn't cooking as well is cooking, but if the owner actually got behind there and, and the food would be really nice and really good. And, um, so you, you just, you know, you, we got to discern, you know, what, what we got to decide whether we're going to get real about, I mean, right now, <clears throat> we have a generation of uh, people, the millennials, who 60% will lie on their resume to get a good job. And um, that is a high percentile. I don't know how many my age, I don't know if it was like 30 or 40% which is still high, and then people older was even less. It was like 20, 30% or something. And um, we'll lie on the resume. So we have a lot of young people who just go ahead and said they worked 10 years doing something and they've never done before, right? So they can get the job. And... Um, it's understandable. I mean, I, I don't, you know, I understand they need to get, well, they want the money right away. They want the job, good job. They don't want to work at Burger King. And um, so, or they want the bartending job at that bar that everybody goes to, but that bar only hires people with five years experience as a bartender. So they'll say they've been a bartender for five years. <laughs> That's just the way People are, and um, I mean, I actually talked to a bartender. I said, you know, I went to bartender school, and I didn't have any experience, and I was older. I was 40 when I went, and, uh, or 41 or 42 or something, and um, he goes, yeah. He goes, I didn't have any experience either. He said, I lied on my resume. He said, I had, so I got this job. I said, I had five years experience, and um he said he'd never been a bartender before, but there was recipe books, so he's been working there for a couple, you know, for a while. And I was like, oh, gosh. I mean, I just didn't lie. <laughs> uh, so we want to, okay, so, but I worked on, I worked at the state personnel board. And um, I, in the uh, exams, part department at, at, and um, my job was to file resumes set appointments for uh, exams state exams because most state jobs there's some kind of test to get a job you have to prove you know something and um, it wasn't the licensing board it was the proctor exam room so it was a personnel board and then uh, in, the, in the building was like this courtroom for people when they 
they have like hearings and stuff, whether they keep their job, you know, or not, or if they're go up, or uh, maybe job, maybe actually some people being promoted, some people being demoted. It's, a, it's like a jury room. But, um, that was in California. And, but on the exams board, that's what it was, the exams board, the personnel board. Um, you know that there's all kinds of applications. And, and certain resumes are preferred over others. And so if you think, okay, there, this is pretty real analogy because uh, if, if they were applying for a federal job and it wasn't the presidency, right? Who do you think would win? Ron DeSantis or or Donald Trump if they were just applying for on their resume and people were selecting them from the federal government to to work on an executive job Donald owned hotels he did this he did that but Ron DeSantis has a youth have been working for you know federally employed with the military, as a lawyer, and a, and a prosecutor, and a, on and on and on his government service, proving he has government knowledge, he's passed exam after exam probably. Ron's never taken an exam. Don, I mean, Do, Donald's never taken an exam. And um, would hide whatever exams he did take and hide his taxes, and hide everything. And, um, but he did get elected for four years. So that's his only, gonna be on the resume, his experience is four years of presidency. Now he's gonna puff and, 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 and bring that out, and make it seem like he did a lot more, did more well than he did, and, um, you know, I want some fancy stuff around the resume and make it look luxurious or whatever. And, um, you know, Ron, Ron doesn't really have to do it because he has that schooling, and that training, and that expertise and years of experience, even at an executive job. State level. And hasn't had trouble with, he was a prosecutor. He has not had trouble with courts. And he has that savvy about justice, having been a prosecutor in the justice system. He knows what justice is. Donald has an issue of not really knowing what, or understanding justice. And in the checks and balances, he's a bully about the checks and balances. So as soon as he gets in office, boom, the, the judges, the, 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 the Congress, the Senate, everybody who's not a Republican or even some of the Republicans are going to shut it down. And, and there's going to be no nothing done. It'll be one side against the other. People hating being bullied by the president. It's going to it's just going to be awful. And um, so. Whatever, you know, I'm, my, my opinion is my opinion. I don't know how many people will ever hear me speak. I haven't even marketed my YouTube, but that's my opinion. I mean, I know if I've seen the resume, I have never seen it, of Ron DeSantis, and then I've seen the resume of Donald Trump, um, and I'm not an expert on government the way people are working on government for have since their youth. 
I mean, I know things about the government. I've worked, like I was an intern at personnel board, this and that. And, you know, I had a paralegal. I did uh, some government service in the military, not much. Uh, just as a private investigator, my goal was only to get some kind of training while they're doing Homeland Security to give me some experience, uh, anti-terrorist knowledge. And um, that's all I ended up about. And I didn't even get the kind that, that I wanted or needed. I need because uh, I, they weren't hiring for intelligence officers, and I would have had to get a lot of high scores, which meant I had to study more, because um, I had been in school for a lot of years, and I'd even forgotten my algebra formulas and stuff by that at that time. I luckily I retook my algebra, but um, I, uh, you know, I used to math used to be one of my best subjects too. And I just didn't use it. I was doing construction work, and you're just measuring things out, you know. And that's when you're doing that. So, and then I worked in security, and you do nothing, no math, hardly at all. You know, well, you do kind. Of, I mean, you're using math in your head, but it's not like you're not like an engineer or something, or finance expert. You know, doing all these crunchy numbers. And. um You know, even marketing right now, the part, I mean, marketers do math, but, um, like I, I learned, had to learn quantitative stuff and, um, but I barely learned that and I haven't used it. So like, I didn't, you know, I'm not a master of that kind of math and I have to, I'm going to take some Moodle some more on finance, some on political, economic finance. And um, there's a Moodle, it's free, I'm gonna get ready to take. But, and then I took Harvard Online Government classes. Uh, I've read the federal codes all the way through. Did a lot of government study guides for exams because I worked on the exams board. I just, as a, for something to do and just to know, want to know what people had to know. I'd read the exams, study guides. But, um, you know, I, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't think that many people working for the government right now in any, in any, well, it's judicial, executive, administrative, or would, if they had the choice to hire the president, would hire Donald over Ron. Um, actually, I, 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 I doubt it a whole lot. If it was, if the Senate, well, the Senate is relying on the public right now, but, but so let's say the Senate had a choice whether who they could appoint president. And um, somebody goes, oh my God, see, he's changing our government. <laughs> but this is hypothetically on who's, who is able to be, who's most proficient you know, who's the best choice? Um, would Ron, you know, if they just went through the resumes and did interviews, would Ron win or would Donald? I mean, no, this is no public not knowing or anything. They just have this interview, you know, like they go through a secret, you know, privately closed interview room, like a room and, um, you know, you're talking to somebody who's hiring people, you know, would the judges vote for Ron or, or Don? And would, um, would they vote for, would the Senate vote for Ron or Don? And... That's just, you know, I mean, they got to vote for who who the people do as they are, which is a good thing, but I'm just wanting to figure out who's, not everybody understands, like people will vote for McDonald's, go to McDonald's before they go to a nice Italian restaurant, an American Italian restaurant, right? <clears throat> so, You know, 
I'm not an Italian, but then again, I'm American where I'm not anything other. I'm just American because, um, without an Italian family relatives or ancestry, because, um, there, I do meet a lot of people with Italian. You would know are Italian, you know, but that are German and, uh, English and stuff too, like I am. And, um, so I'm Dutch, but I'm not even that just, you know, I mean, I, I'm a mix of different mix, you know, I mean, there's Greek, Italian, English, German, Americans, Scottish, Irish mix too, you know, I mean, just the way we are. I even got Iberian relatives, I guess. My mom's side, I didn't get the genetics. My mom had them. She didn't even know. She was Iberian. And she's Finnish. Scottish, Irish, English. So, being a good neighbor, being a American, I don't want to say anything about either, you know, Don or Ron, Don, Don definitely, I would have never said, even wanted to know anything bad about Don at all. I didn't even want to know. I didn't care, you know, about anything about him. And then he ran for president. And I had to know. And it was so awful to me. Uh, having, you know, a small city, parents, you know, ancestor established the county and major steps of the state, colonial establishers of colonies. And, um, or, among the established, well, actually, one of some of the major establishers, relatives, but not my direct, like my, I, they'd be like cousins or something, right? <clears throat> but um, the Virginia ones and the, and the New York ones, I'm New Hampshire, Elkins. So he was younger, had a ship, was a tailor. Sold her. Her legislature, his son was her legislature, it was my uncle. And, uh, I don't know. No judges in my family. Senators, though. Congress, whatever. Mayors. More than the average. But what exactly, what exactly is anything, you know, I mean, we don't need dolls other than, uh, you know, I mean, think of, think of what, what it's like, you know, right now in this world. They, McDonald's is global. I just found out Betty Crocker is a globalized company. They actually do. So... Betty Crocker actually makes cookbooks for the Arabs and their Arab cuisine, not American cuisine over there, but they make many people over there in, in Arabia, they make Arabia's, you know, a collection of Arabia's uh, cooking and um, other countries, like, I don't know, it's like 70 something countries or 80 countries or something like that. I think um, Better Homes and Gardens is like 100 countries. I don't know. It's 100 countries. I don't know. But, you know, I mean, Betty Crocker got, wasn't just American. She's now global. 
be globalized or break and cook. Cook company. General Mills Flour, Betty Crocker. McDonald's, Walmart. Even the Arabs recipes, man. As a colonial American, that's harder to say. Or descendant of colonial America. It's hard to want it to happen. Don't see. Nowadays, it, you know, back, it really kind of cool. But we have mad scientists and mad engine scientists, engineers, and these greedy ass people nowadays who are like, um, Elon, this the, the computer people, right? And, and the these mad quantum scientists, right? And uh, we don't need it. We don't need it anymore than we ever needed it before, when it was invented by Tesla, right? Reverse engineering. That was his thing. Just leave it to him. Now they're all like, Many years later, they're all giving it a go because they, they want that knowledge because they, they've been hacking away at Area 51 or whatever, you know, and getting that knowledge. And then, it, boom, it gets global. You want to, you know, everybody wants that knowledge. and they, they believe they have a claim to it. But they don't have claim to anything. And, um, they, they believe, I mean, they'll argue, they could, like a guy like Putin, he, he would, um, uh, argue, like he's, he's bringing up like his historical things of who Russians are, why he can conquer his neighbor there, Ukraine, you know, he has it all reasoned out with this Orthodox religious stuff, right? And, um. The guy was a spy. I don't, you know, I mean, uh, there's nothing good or noble about spies, if you want to say the least. But a, a Russian spy at the time he was a Russian spy was not a good thing. And um, not good at all. God, period. Being human on earth. They were atheists. They were creepy, bad people. They were not good. They did no intentions of being good. What they believed was good was just totally like old deist, atheist Greece. You know, um, um, politically. If you read about the old Greek and how rotten they were, but they would consider it good, you know. That, that what they considered good wasn't real good. 